Hey guys, it's Anderson here. I wanted to uh, show you my new guitar. It's an Epiphone SG Junior with a P90, bitches. This thing took over a week to uh, get here through eBay. Check out the uh, Black Sabbath's like reflecty sticker. Pretty cool, huh? All right, the actual case kind of feels like leather. So, let's open this bad boy up. Smooth. All right. So we see this nice plushy case, you know, your standard, you know, hard shell case. But I likes it. And of course, the piece de la resistance, the guitar, from Junior. They apparently discontinued this model a while back. Apparently, this was made in like the 90s or something. Which you know is fine by me. So. Um. I don't have a strap for this thing yet, so uh, I'll have to play this thing now. Okay, you might not be able to see me. Okay, you can kind of see me. <laughs> see my big old head. I'm going to be playing through my brother's uh, Line 6 uh, Spider 3 amp. And this guitar is tuned half a step down. Let's just start off clean. Well, it's on twain. Do some open chords, you know, like... You know, it just, it really comes alive with that, stuff like that. You know, you can also do, like, you know, heart turned black. You know, with like the twangy, like stuff like that. You know, it just really comes alive, and you can definitely hear that throughout. You know, any setting. It's basically, you know, what a P90 is. It's like a strat with, you know, a little more, you know, dare I say, balls. Let's uh, turn up the gain a bit and get a, a good crunch setting. So you hear, you know, same open chords sound really clear. I think. <laughs> This amp's uh, crunch setting is that it's very pick sensitive. You don't really get that with a lot of amps. It's either, you know, when you're picking soft or when you're picking hard. <laughs> it sounds the same. But, you know, this amp, I can pick really soft and it sounds really clean. Guitar is uh, pretty good with soloing, but it 
you know, it really comes alive, you know, as a rhythm player, you know, for heavy riffs and things like that. and intonation and all that fun stuff. Thinking about getting a new uh, pickup. Even though this pickup is really nice, thinking about, you know, getting an aftermarket pickup just, you know, to add to the sound, I guess. Other than that, you know, and of course a strap, I'd say, you know, this guitar is, you know, good to go. And I mean, I don't have to add all this stuff, except for the tuners. Definitely, definitely get new tuners. <laughs> but I mean, overall, for, I paid total, you know, guitar plus shipping, less than uh, 200 bucks for this thing. And it's a little dinged up, you can probably see some of, you know, little scratches, and apparently the previous owner decided to uh, glue in the input jack. It doesn't affect, you know, anything, but I think later on it might. But, you know, a couple dings, it's definitely, you know, been used. There's some dings on the headstock, if you might be able to see some of those. But I mean, overall, for less than 200 bucks with shipping, and you know, that's including shipping, I'd say, you know, it's a good purchase. Plus, the thing I love, you know, most about this guitar is the finish. The camera doesn't really do it justice, especially, you know, with these low lightings. But I mean, it's, no pun intended, but, you know, it's very cherry. I honestly didn't really expect this from, you know, this type of guitar, which, you know, is pretty low end, even, you know, when it was fresh on the market. I originally bought this guitar because my uh, dad had an Epiphone coronet, which is basically this, but without, you know, the pointy uh, cutaways, and with some kind of tremolo system that never worked. <laughs> and, you know, it basically sounds like that, to be honest. So, I mean, I'm, I'm really glad I purchased this. This is the Andy Son here, uh, signing off. You guys have an excellent day. <laughs>